Welcome to another edition of Makina Stuff and I think it would be interesting to show you what I use in producing Makina videos. This is it. Everything that you see in Makina, ito na yon. What you won't be seeing is the camera that I'm using right now to shoot this video. So we're gonna start off with my main cam. This is the DJI Osmo Action. Before I continue with this, I would just like to say that everything that you see here are supporters of Makina. Now, this is not a case of lumapit sila sa akin and said, Zach, would you use our equipment? We'll give this to you for free. Kasi hindi ako ganun eh. Hindi ko gusto yung may ginagamit ako na I don't like. Kahit sponsor pa yun. So I did my research with everything here and I went to them one by one and I said, Hi, I am Zach from Makina. This is what I do. Would you like to get into a partnership? Would you want to support the channel? They saw my stuff and they said, Okay, let's do it, Zach. So I didn't get into a sponsorship deal without me liking their equipment to begin with. Going back to this, this is the DJI Osmo Action. I think the first video that I used this in would be, I would say, my biggest and most challenging trip so far in Makina. And that was my... Himalaya's trip with the Royal Enfield. Kakalabas lang sa market. I just want to tell you my experience with it. At this point, about 85% or 90% of all the videos coming out from this. The rest would be coming out from a drone and uh, a DSLR. But primarily, ito yon. I started with a GoPro Hero 4. I think that's a phenomenal camera. So basically, if you haven't heard about this yet, uh, it's got a screen out in front so you can frame yourself. See? Isn't that great? You'll see actually the camera I'm using there right now. That's a Lumix GH5S, right? So I think that's brilliant because it makes framing easier, especially when I'm on a rush. Because I do a dual cam setup with the Osmo Action. I have a camera in front of me and I have another one which is on my helmet when I'm riding. So I can look right away if I'm in frame and get that out of my head and concentrate on riding. Hindi yung nagtatansya tansya ako, so it eliminates that hassle. What I like about the DJI Osmo Action when it came out, yung kulay niya is this distinct DJI flavor. It's a brownish tinge. GoPro kasi super obvious eh. You know, ah, okay. That's GoPro. May pagka greenish naman si GoPro. So this one was fresh for me. I mean, it was standing out amongst a lot of other footages out there. In fact, the whole Himalaya strip, that was 100% this and a DJI Mavic 2. Technology nowadays, grabe yung talon, di ba? What's commendable about DJI, this is their first jump into this arena. I also like that I can do 4K, 24 frames per second linear mode. So meaning I have an option for this not to be fish eye mode when everything's bent at the corners. That's the only thing I use. I will do 60 frames per second if I am going to gun for some slow-mo. The time lapse on this is also phenomenal. I've experimented with this in the Himalayas. I came up with really good results. Now let's talk about a bit of the cons with the DJI Osmo Action. My primary concern would be the lag. If you're tracking something, it will not register in the screen right away. So if it's coming here, pack coming subject, biglang lalabas pa lang sa screen, shoo, a second later. So you can imagine it's very hard to track things. So in that firmware, version I think was 1.3, so may lag siya dun sa firmware na yon. The audio I felt was on the tinny side, was picking up everything. It was decent, but kind of stickler for audio. So there is a third party adapter out there so that you can stick in a lot of other mics. This is the Sinova, and it's got a 3.5 jack that you can just put in. So during version 1.3, it was struggling with passive mics, but it was fine with battery operated mics during that time. Then lo and behold, they came up with version 1.5 and the recent one right now as of this video, there's version 1.7. Wala nang lag ang 4K and 24 frames per second. It's totally fine. It is something that I can work with comfortably. The audio greatly improved also. At nababasa na niya yung mga passive mics na walang bateria if you don't like using mics with batteries. So that for me, wow, good job on the firmware. In terms of adaptability with your existing GoPro gear, it'll fit all the same specs. So that's the DJI Osmo Action. Incidentally, there's a promo going on right now with Urban Gadgets, and I'm gonna put the details right here. I'm just gonna leave it there for a while so that it can sink in. You're gonna be getting this at a very, very good price. So that's a DJI Osmo Action. Moving on, Makina, drones, hand in hand. I love drones. So, I started out with a DJI Mavic on the first year of Makina. I lost, I think, two or three of those. Yung isa nasa bundok hanggang ngayon sa Mipililia. The other one, I sank in Lake Como. Pero naayos. When I lost it sa Lake Como, nung medyo lumubog doon, I was forced to purchase a Mavic Air. Now, wow, this has been my go-to drone for the longest time. It's small, it's light, it comes up with great quality. It's also in 4K, and I can't complain. Good price, and I love it. This has 
traveled with me and has been to so many countries already, this Mavic Air. So this is a pretty good product. I also have the Mavic 2, which is going to see a lot more action in 2020. It's pretty impressive. Lakas, mapiles. The batteries last longer now. I don't have to lug around like three, four batteries at a time. I'm fine with one. The only downside to this is its size and weight. I'm always under pressure with weight, carry-on wise. Kasi syempre, ayoko to i-check in eh. Kasi ang sela ng mga gamit. I mean, in fact, all my equipment, I hand carry them. I will use this more definitely so those are my drones backup camera i have two dslrs i have a g85 lumix and the gh5s that's the camera right there that's what we're using use them sparingly kunyari sa mga makina stuff sin ko makailangan buhatin na dyan sa sarap ko or when i'm doing sit down interviews in a controlled environment audio it's very important for me, I have a Zoom F1, which you can get over at JB Music. I love the XY because these are one of the quietest configurations out there. I also have another XY configuration. It's a Tascam. This is the one with no battery. This is also pretty run and gun then. Kumayo hatawan yung coverage. Pretty good quality. Between this and the Zoom, of course, mas high tech si Zoom kasi I can record on the F1 pang backup na audio and I can control the input. This one wala eh. For the Zoom F1, I like using this and the Zoom. Boom mic. I like using the Zoom H1 capsule, which comes with the Zoom H6, which I also have. Back this H6, sobrang ganda rin ito nagito, mababay noise floor, silent background, came with a capsule and another mic, this Boom Stereo. Now, this Boom Stereo is amazing. Meron siyang mono dito, tapos meron siyang left and right sa gilid. So, I can do an interview, talk to you, and get ambient sound in a snap. So this is pretty nifty. I use this a lot also. My other go-to mic would be the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. I use this also for interviews a lot. Mono recording and then this would be my ambient. I'll mix it in. So this one pretty good with voices. So it's very focused and the range is long. So okay din to. Kung medyo outdoors rugged ka na, di masyado control the environment. You're up with a bunch of other people and you try to do an interview or somebody's talking on stage. Tinitry mo kunin yung mga sinasabi niya at medyo malayo ka. Okay siya. So that's the mic. And last but not least, what I would want to show you, a secret to great audio, good audio cables. So I use the Big Sur by AudioQuest. This is a meter long, and I use this in between the mics and the camera. So you might be wondering why I have two handheld setups. This is a handheld gimbal and this is like a just a regular stand. May rock steady naman si DJ Osmo action. Rock steady is actually pretty impressive. However, there is one weakness with electronic stabilization. Kasi minsan ako pag kunyari bakbakan na coverage and you're in the airport, you're lugging around your bags. I end up, you know, walking like this already. Diba? Parang nakakahilo ng coverage ni Zach. So, in those situations, this is my first gimbal ever. It's a Xeon Evo. This is technology circa 2017, late 2016. Iba rin talaga mechanical stabilization. It's great. Pag ma coverage ng sampung World Trade Center, kailangan mo lakarin, I'd go with this one already. So, that's my gear. Giveaway time! Pak! Oh! Before I forget, durability ng DJI Osmo Action. May matiting hulog nga pala ito. Sa India, sinalpak ko siya sa mount ko sa handlebar. Off-road na siya, barga na. I had a substandard mount. Don't buy cheap mounts kasi yung gamit na mahal na mahal mo, baka mahulog. Ano nga nangyari, nahulog nga siya. So nagkaroon siya ng dent dito. So that was heartbreaking kasi I was three days into the tour and I'm like, ano to? Wala na akong camera, di ba? And then, gumana siya. Walang problema. I was tumbling about. There were like 15 other guys behind me. Bunting na nila nasagasaan. So, so, tibay niya, as in, grabe yung hulog niya. Giveaway time. So, what's gonna happen here is we're gonna have a whole bunch of stuff for giveaway for one person. Para sulit. Napakahirap kasi, di ba? Kailangan nyo i-like, kailangan nyo i-share. Tapos may mga hashtags. Tapos, isi-screenshot nyo pa. Lagyan nyo sa comments mo. Di ba, nakapagod yun, di ba? Ang hirap, di ba? I have a bunch of goodies here for one person. Para masaya. First up is a helmet holder care of Hansi Solutions na may logo po ng Makina. This is now valued about 15,200. Next up, we have a back protector. Protection is protection. So this is now worth, syempre likod mo, no, mga, it's about 32,695 pesos. Next, we have a leg bag from Spider. Pwede kayo magpakaganto, di ba? Di ko magets tong fashion statement ito. Pero ito each is own, who am I to judge? So this is worth 8,692 pesos and 3 cents. DJI cap worth 6,432 and uh, 95 cents. Aha, we have a Kimco jersey. Shoot, shoot. 4,452 and 4 cents. Yamaha 
Rossi t-shirt, 26,292.43 pesos. We have a Pirelli shirt, valued at 12,432.62. We have this time a Honda leg bag, 18,242 pesos and 87 cents. LS2 helmet, 7,496 pesos and eight cents. This is the NGK t-shirt, 4,687 and 42 cents. On the t-shirt, 13,464 and 9 cents. Vintage Rider Manila, worth 7,987 and 16 cents. Imprint Customs here, this is about 7,949 and uh, 62 cents. You think I'm gonna stop? You think I'm gonna stop? Look, huh? I got a tail bag for you from OZ Racing. 28,992 and 39 cents. Last but not least, Makina jersey. This is the 2020 design. This is valued at 125,398 and 54 cents. One person lang para sa lahat na ito. This is a lot of stuff. So you have to like and share this video with the hashtags Haveline Ride Strong, DJI Osmo Action, DJI Mavic 2, Urban Gadgets, Sarap Magmotor, and Makina Moto Show, June 6 and 7, World Trade Center, Manila. Very easy. And I will announce the winners very, very soon. This is Zach from Makina Stuff. Ciao. Kahit na ang bahaghari Sikretong babahagi Mga ulap ihahawi Nais ko rin mawari Sa puso mo mamalagi Makita ka palagi Lungkot ko ay napapawi Matamis na iyong labi Sa isip ko sumasagi Hirayang manawari Sana ay ganto palagi Tila yata ay nayari Sa swerte ako'y palubi Di na nga magpapalugi Pwede ba kitang maari na Bigong pa ulit-ulit, bilog
ang mundo Huwag mo sanang iikot sa atin Malay ba natin kung para ba talaga sa atin? Ikaw ay alanganin, hindi nga ka lang malahalin Palasyo na mahangin, partito pikit ka lang at Pagkumalo Kahit gaano kataas ay tatalunin 